Hey, my YouTube friends, what's up? It's not quite Sunday, but it's Saturday night. I'm doing the show Saturday, taping it Saturday night. And it'll air Sunday morning. Sunday, yeah, Sunday morning, I'll put it up. Um, so, this is Questions from the Truck, number six. And if you're not familiar with this little... Uh, um, episode or this, this little uh, series, yeah, series that I'm doing. It's uh, if you have model railroad questions and don't make videos but would like answers to your questions, put your questions below in this video and I will get answers to your questions next video. That's how this little thing's going to work. So, without further ado, let's start the show. First question is from Indian Head Valley Railroad. And Wilmer, thanks for the questions. This is a two-part question, two parts. The first one was, Wilmer asked, what did I think was the subliminal message behind Model Railroad's latest video? It was about the, he's just sitting there eating honey, bunches of oats cereal. Cereal. And, uh, tell you the truth Wilmer I don't know what that message is behind it and I wonder if he even knows but I'm sure he does but I really don't know he just likes the cereal uh, I don't know maybe he can tell us <laughs> so his second question was he wanted to know any information any updates on my layout sorry to say Wilmer no updates I have I have other stuff going on right now, and I just don't have time to... I mean, I think about it sometimes, especially when I'm uh, watching videos and uh, talking with you guys and going out and seeing uh, model railroads. And I think about it a lot, but like I said, I'm kind of busy, and I just don't have time to, to mess with it. Um, but... It's in the back of my head somewhere. So one of these days I'm going to say, Hey, Wilmer, I got an update. Until then, I do not. So I thank you for that question. And both of those questions. And my next question is from BNSF6951. Vinny, Cousin Vinny. I'm in a parking lot and there's like people that can't drive. So... Vinny's question is, should freight cars be weighted? Um, I don't know enough about this hobby to say yes or no, but just to guess, I would say yes, so they don't derail. But you guys answer that question below. Hey, and if you can ask uh, answer uh, Wilmer's question about model railers, that might help me too understand what's going on with him so those are our two questions uh put your answers down below in the comments and i appreciate both of you guys for asking those questions and contributing to this show because you could have very well easily asked those questions on your channel and i appreciate it i appreciate you contributing to my show and helping it go work and uh, I have a question yeah I do I'm good at asking questions so my question is track related again code 55 code 80 will they work together and is it a pain is it you know is it because I have some code 80 track and I have a lot of code 80 turnouts and if I get other, say if I get some flex track and it's code 55 or something, is it okay? Will it work and what I need to do to get it working? I know it's uh, height. It's different height. So you guys, let me know your answers below. So 
as always, I'm going to leave a link below to these guys' channels. Go check them out. Oh, you're probably all subscribed to them, but if you're not, you need to be. Because that's how this community works. We need to support each other, subscribe, like, and comment. And I know it's hard. Some guys, some guys don't comment, and I understand it. Because for a long time, I would watch videos and never comment. And that's in all my videos. I've been on YouTube since 2008. I have videos going back seven years. And they're mostly all woodworking videos. It wasn't until recently in the past year that I started doing train stuff. So I know there's a lot of videos that I have that have very little comments. and But they have a lot of views. And that's fine. You know, I kind of understand how that works. And I'm okay. Oops, sorry. I'm okay with that. Uh, and just on a side note, I think, uh, you know, and, yeah, a lot of guys put a lot of effort into their channels. And sometimes maybe they don't feel like they're getting the, the payback that they, they think they should be getting or... Or I don't know how to word that. But sometimes, you know, it just doesn't, you know, pan out the way you want it to. And it doesn't mean, you know, that it's not working and you're not getting your message out. Maybe just, you know, not put as much effort as you once did, you know. If your time, you know, your time is valuable and I get that. So I understand that, you know, before I... This is going to be a long video, and I apologize, but I get it. You know, before I just started editing videos, and I'm probably never going to put the amount of time into editing videos as I should, okay? But, you know, for me, you know, if I spend an hour editing videos, that means that it's taken an hour away from view time that I can have somewhere, and I'd rather watch videos, your videos, than edit my videos, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, so, yeah, don't, you know, don't get carried away on making your videos. You, you, you know, you really don't need any, a lot of fancy things to make videos. I'm just doing this on a phone. Sometimes I have that mount that you saw that I bought. Sometimes I have an external mic. Today I'm not using it. But, and that's it. And I just got a video editor for my phone. Uh, I don't really edit videos much on YouTube other than just adding descriptions and putting those little tags in. But I don't do a lot of editing. And I don't think you need to either. I'm... Um, Maybe your expectations of what you should be doing are too high because you don't need to be all crazy doing this. You don't need to spend an exorbitant amount of your time editing videos. And that's just my opinion on it, you know, uh, because I'm perfectly fine just watching, you know, I don't need like F Francis Ford Coppola style YouTube videos to appreciate the video and get any anything from it. You know what I'm saying? To get to to get entertainment, to answer questions that I may have or whatever. You know, I, I don't need this you know, crazy edited videos that some of you guys may be doing and feel that you need to do. You don't need to do it, you know? I think we're all here for the same reason, just to hang out, enjoy each other's companies, learn something, and have fun. And that's pretty much it. Um, so last but not least, I'm done with that little rant. And, and I apologize, this, this is going longer than my normal show does. But last but not least, I want to do a shout out for the new show that started this morning at 10 o'clock. It's going to be on every Saturday morning. It's replacing, what is that, Track Smack? Uh, so it's going to be called Back on Track Live. And 
It's a group of guys, Shannon, Steve, and Brian, and probably Joe G, and maybe some other guests that are going to do it. So I'm going to put a link to their that channel below, and I'll put a tag up in the corner. Uh, go check them out, because this all works because we support each other, and we subscribe and comment. You know, and it's important to be, uh, it, it, it's, you, you need to get involved with it one way or another. And sh some shows require you to, like this requires you to ask questions, you know, and uh, it it's how it works. Some shows work like that, you know, and I think that show is uh, geared to work that way. He needs your involvement for it to succeed. So, hey, I apologize for this long video. Like and subscribe to me and all these other guys and other guys you see out there. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your Saturday. Well, I hope you had a good Saturday night, and I hope you have a great Sunday and a rest of the week. As always, be blessed in whatever you do. Take care. See you on the next one.